Hi, I'm Monica. In this lesson, you'll learn how to design reports to work directly with the database, creating your own SQL query in the report itself. First, create a new report called Customer Invoices. Then, go to the Repository Explorer panel. Right-click on Data Adapter and create a new one. Choose the JDBC connection. And give it a name to differentiate it from others, Invoicing. In the JDBC driver, for our case, we select the option HSQLDB Server. But you can work with any other database, like MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, among others. As for the URL, user, and password, we can find them in the context.xml file located in the SRC main web app meta-inf folder. By default, HSQLDB does not differentiate between uppercase and lowercase for the user. Remember to start the project so that the HSQLDB database starts running. Enter the URL and user that appears in context XML and click on test to test the connection. Perfect. Now, create some parameters that will be used in the report. Number Y name. Then, click on the icon to open the dataset and query dialog window. Here, select the data adapter we just created. You can see all the tables in the application. On the right, you can enter our query. We will use the number parameter in the query, which essentially searches for all invoices of that client and shows information about those invoices. Next, click on Read Fields to read the fields. This also verifies that the query is well written. Once the fields are read, the names and types are loaded below. If necessary, we can select one and edit it. These fields are automatically loaded into the reports fields. Let's test the query as it might not have errors but may not return the expected results. Change the parameter to the number one and go to Data Preview. Click on Refresh Preview Data, and it will show us the results of the query. Perfect. Put the parameter back in place. And click OK. Here, we see that all the fields from the query are indeed present. Let's add them to the report. Another way to test the report is in the preview view. Enter the parameters. In our case, the number must be real because it is used to search in the database. It seems the data is loaded correctly. Let's tidy up the view a bit and change the date format. In the dates pattern expression, enter the format that we want. Let's test again. Perfect, this is how it should look in the application. Let's create the action to generate the report. As always, first create the controller if necessary. Then, create the action extending from Jasper Report Base Action. In Data Source, we can send null because the report already has its dataset.
In parameters, we will send number and name, taking the data from the view. In get view, get values, we must use the property names as parameters to get their value from the view where the action is being executed. Copy the report and start the application. Perfect. Let's go to the invoice module to check if the records have been fetched correctly. Yes. The total amount data is correct. There are many ways to work with the database. You don't necessarily have to do it from the report. You can also perform a JPA query in the OpenZava action and then send the results to the report to process them there. If you have any questions or problems, you can ask us in the forum. You can also download the code for this lesson from the repository link. Both links are in the video description. Bye.